G'day everyone. Today I'm going to make a header box for my river sluice. Um, it's the same header box that I used in my Mega Pay Dirt rerun. Um, it's pretty quick and easy and very cheap, just using stuff lying around in the shed. So I hope someone gets something out of this and it helps them find some gold. If you've only got a normal sluice and you want to use it for a cleanup sluice, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a quick header box for water distribution. Um, and also, if you want to, just change the mat over to something more suitable for a cleanup of your cons. Um, I'll show you how to do it nice and quickly. First of all, any pipe. And I know you can get this in a 100 by 50 poly pipe um, for down pipes. Just get it at Bunnings or something like that. Um, but I don't have any of that here, so I'm going to use a little bit of this. Um, first of all, cut it to width. You want it to be pretty tight, so it sort of just sits in there and it's not going to move around too much. And just mark the width. That bit there. And here I've just got some. Uh, I don't know what this is out of. I think it's something out of some packaging from a TV or something. But yeah, it's just a bit of thin plastic. They are 1.6 mil, but it doesn't matter either. Off cut a pipe. Two of those. Two of those. So I'm just gonna sand them back till they fit in there nicely now. End up with two of those that fit in like so. So the next thing to do is to cut the slot in the bottom here and that's going to sit not directly down, it's going to sit up a little bit just to give a ledge to let the water uh, have something to go over and sort of slow it down and make it a bit more even as it goes down the sluice. Something like that. Now that you've got your slot, it's time to drill the hole in the top for where the water goes in. So what I've got here is a washing machine discharge hose. Um, I've just siliconed a one inch uh, sleeve on the end here. That works for a fitting on my old high banker. Um, it's a 32 mil hole that you need to drill for that. And the washing machine discharge hose comes with a one inch flexi bit, which works perfectly for the build pump. So, um, so we need to drill a hole that size in the top of our header box. And where you want to do that is, if this is sitting in the sluice, you don't want it to be sitting straight down or straight out like that. You actually just want it to be on a 45 or a 22 and a half degree angle with this sort of sitting in top. So when this goes in, you don't want the water to come straight out of the slot. It wants to hit the bottom here and it has to come out that way. So up there, 
around about like that. that so that then fits in nicely like that all right so i'm going to glue these ends in um i found it a little bit easier just to grab some super glue just grab some super glue and uh yeah, get it in position remember you want to have these recessed just a little bit so you can then sand this back down to a perfect fit in the sluice. Just a little bit of super glue to hold it in position. Does anyone else find that you can never use these twice if you put the lid back on? Just to get a good seal, a bit of silicon to start off with. That'll just seal it from the inside. Like so. Get in there. So now you've got your little header box made up. Um, what I'm going to do before I silicon up all the the ends caps, I'm going to sand it back so it fits in the sluice really nicely. And then when I actually silicon and smooth off the ends, it just gives a little bit of grip and sits in there nice. So I'll do that first. in there very nicely now. I'll just grab some silicon now. Get a little bit of a clean off. Doesn't need a lot. And there you have it. A very quick, cheap and easy header box that you can now fit into your normal sluice um, and use it to run your concentrates. Um, it is a good idea just to put a bit of V-mat, either replace your mat that you've got in there with some V-mat. I just like to put a bit up the top there. Uh, it's a good, ind gives you a good indication of what you're actually cleaning up if it's got anything in it. So cut a bit of that in there. Um, and then you should end up with this. Which you build pump, only hose, straight to your header box. The angle of this header can be changed anyway just by altering the angle of the pipe that's going in there. And I do that with a simple zip die going to the corner of the sluice. Pretty easy, nice and tight. Runs a bit like this.